Okay, so you've got your four, you've got your sort of optical illusion that's not really an optical illusion, and you're not super happy with it. What are you going to do next? Well, you need to notice things. So if you look at this tiny bit of blue tech, you'll see three colors in the shadow. And I first noticed this when we were doing our experiment on um, combining the red, green, and blue colors. And you can see in the shadows a very interesting color effect. It's not so clear on this poster, and I think this poster doesn't make for a good optical illusion. So first I'm going to cover it so that we've got a nice white background. And you can see the paper looks white-ish in some places. But when I block the light with my hands, we can see different colors. We can see yellow, we can see magenta, and we can see cyan. In other places, we can see the red, the green, and the blue, like the dark blue, the original dark blue. So I think that looks cool. So we've now got an optical illusion that we can use for a level six. We've got a more interesting object, a hand, and we've got transmission, and we've got absorption from the different colored filters. We've got different angles of absorption. The lights that are going through my hand are being projected and the lights that are being blocked by my hand are shadowed. And we've got reflection from the white surface and we've got some optical illusion because clearly there's no yellow light here. You know, we've only got three lights. But maybe I'm cheating. Maybe because we've got this big light, maybe that is, hang on, got tangled. Maybe these big lights are causing that. Well, optical illusions usually look better. Let me switch off the lights. So let's go back and have a look without the lights. Here we go, we've got our red, green, blue. And here's the hand. There's definitely no pink light. Pink isn't even in the rainbow, but we can see pink in the middle of the shadow. So there's an optical illusion, which can be used for a six. I'm gonna to go to the computer and I'll show you how to write this so that we can explain what's happening in terms of the light and we can explain how the optical illusion affects the mind. So we can use this to get a six.